Hey guys, what's going on? It's Johnny Yu again. Another interesting story of a K-pop idol where Heavy, who is a member of the Black Swan, has been sued for borrowing a large amount of money and not paying back to the lender. And the interesting part was that the person who lent her money was not her close friend or her family, but it was one of her fans. This fan first knew her on 2018 and luckily or unluckily, he had a chance to meet her in person. This person started as a fan, but as he kept on meeting, he started to have feelings for Hemi. Later, when Hemi thought they were close enough, she told this guy if she could borrow some money showing sympathy towards her mother and her family situation, saying she would later pay him back. So he sent her money worth around $50,000 as well as giving his credit card to Hemi. Plus, he offered her a studio which is $20,000 of deposit and one year of rent. Despite the fact of his offering, Hami kept on asking for more money. Once is already enough, lady. Based on the information so far, most of this financial support was not done in person, and instead he used bank transfer which is good for leaving proofs. Of course Hami is a cause, but the guy who gave that much amount of money, what have he done? I feel sorry for this guy, but giving her his own money was his choice. What's even more interesting is that most of Hemi's spendings were used for clubs and entertainment, not for her family or mother. Plus her studio was to secretly date other guys, not his fan. This fan eventually found out and got so disappointed and asked Hemi to pay back his money. But Hemi talked back saying, how do I pay you back if I don't have any? If you don't leave, I'll call the police cause this studio is under my name some drama between an idol and a fan. It's something that this guy will never forget during his life. Hemi is using her fan for money and she thought that she could get away with it. Later, Hemi left the studio and ran away from him, but she already broke his heart and now he wants to take back whatever he gave her, eventually suing her. Her Instagram is now shown as private and I'm pretty sure she's not proud of what she's done. But all these problems made from Hemi's decisions, and this is not the only problem. All the members from the Black Swan are now victims. A member who's a first black female idol from Belgium. A member who's a first Brazilian Japanese from Brazil. And two other Korean members. These members didn't do anything, but now because of one member, this group may be in trouble. What do you guys think?